Hello. Hi, cocooners. <laughs> oh, they're flowers. Thank you. Oh, yes. So pretty. Oh, and your pumpkins. Pumpkins. Yeah. I'm Jed. Uh, my husband brought these home. And they're actually that perfect color, you know, when you see the um, Day of the Dead and like all the Halloween yes. celebrations to honor ancestors. They're usually like orange flowers or marigolds, but I don't think these are marigolds, but they're really pretty. So. Yeah, quite vibrant. <sighs> yeah, they feel good. Nice. So, welcome. Here we are. Yay. We're here on a Tuesday. So, yes. hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't throw us off too much that it's not our usual Thursday. New day, <laughs> Tuesday. But we'll be back to Thursdays next, next week. Next week. Next week. I believe yes. so. Yes, next yes. Thursday. Yes. Awesome. Are you excited to talk about apples today? <gasps> apples. Can't wait. Oh, I love bringing in the apples. Bringing in the apples. I know it felt so good. Oh, I've so been thinking good. about them. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. recap. Dun, 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 dun. We are doing, what is it? Page five? Page <gasps> five of the oh, Discovering Your Inner Harvest Pack. And if you want to see the first four pages, you can go back in our IGTV series or uh, we'll have the, the series linked below on YouTube. And today we are exploring an apple a day page. It says an apple a day brings joy your way. And we'll get into that a little bit later. If you want to get your copy, we have a link to join the Cocoon community, and you'll get an email right away with our gift to you, a nine-page seasonal creativity guide, whatever season it is. So we're exploring autumn here in the Northern Hemisphere. So we'd love for you to come and join us and have fun in this little Cocoon community that, that we are creating and crafting yes. together. <laughs> Yes, come join us. Follow along or follow on your own time. Love to see what you create. Yes. So, where do we begin with our nature inspired feeling? <gasps> yes. Yes. All right. Are you ready? I have, I have one for you. It's a new one. I know. <laughs> what is it? It's a new one. Um, so, I am feeling it has been a day. So, I am feeling like wet leaves sticking together layers <laughs> with the rain uh, pouring down <laughs> a nice sticky wet sludgy uh mushy feel <laughs> mm, mushy. <laughs> mushy mushy leaves yeah no crunch no pretty crunch today <laughs> no crisp <laughs> no no but it feels good it, that's like yeah that's it <laughs> sometimes you're just soggy soggy that's the word soggy leaves soggy leaves <laughs> brown those nice oak brown <sighs> dead leaves <laughs> mm. there you go that's it that's good that's mm. good okay do you want to put a sound to it today as well yeah i what didn't know it? if we wanted to do that after yeah. or just do it now Go for it. I yeah. Hear okay. What it so like. let's see. Soggy leaves. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Ooh. It's like mysterious. It's like haunted. Yes, mysterious and haunted. What's under the mush? <laughs> <laughs> mm, that's, a, that's an exciting way of looking at it mm. that's fun very cool yeah that felt good yeah I felt good Get that soggy mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nice how about you Lori how are you feeling today I feel well I had two kind of come up which is interesting <gasps> to both do uh, feelings well, I don't even know what one of them is called, but, and it might just be like a species. It's like a type of fungus or a 
type of fungi. Um, and I, I think I saw it on Instagram somewhere. But we follow a lot of mushroom people, <laughs> people who yes, are foraging well. and finding and identifying mushrooms. And there was one, and it had like gooey red, like goop, sitting on top, and yes. it was kind of like oozing over the side, like jelly, like red jelly. I feel like the jelly. <laughs> And I don't know. I mean, it's like, eh. it's like an eh feeling, but like oozy. And so that was the first one I thought of. And then I thought of, um, uh, I just got this herb, a dried herb, um, marshmallow. And oh. I haven't gotten to experiment with it yet. But um, from like a video I saw, it was like mucusy. <laughs> so it's like the same it's like the same feeling in two different forms so that that's my second one but I'm really feeling the first one so I'm gonna go with that I mm -hmm. love that and I've been seeing pictures of that and I've been told from other accounts that they're not that rare and they're easy to find you just need to look up and I'm like I have never seen those but yeah they're, they're so cool wet and glistening and so how, how does it sound <laughs> Um, kind of has like a room, 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 I don't know where the R is coming in. Room, room, room. That's it. I love that. It feels. It's like a mushroom song. It's my mushroom song. The mushroom song. And I can like feel the red. Well, because you're the red, you're the yeah. Mm, that like that that gelatin <laughs> kind of right, yeah, and the body moving to it to release it. Mm -hmm. Oh, very yes. nice. Do you want to do you want to be some marshmallow as well? <laughs> no, I'm feeling the first one. I'm Good. Go Stick with that. With that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Like that. Oh, beautiful. So. <laughs> so inviting you all to feel into what your nature inspired feeling is and if you want to you know on your own time give it a sound and experiment on your own and see what it sounds like yes come uh tell us your nature inspired feelings it's always fun to hear all the different uh all the different feels out there and how you relate it to nature so yeah. Can't wait. I can't wait yeah. to share. <laughs> so I believe you brought us, is it a poem or is it a quote? Yes, it's a quote um, because we're bringing in joy today with our apples. So I thought I would focus on some joy, which is perfect um, uh, given the feel that I just shared with everyone. Um, so apple joy. Apple so joy. this quote this quote comes from Robert uh, Louis Stevenson, and it goes, find out where joy resides and give it a voice far <laughs> beyond singing. For to miss the joy is to miss all. That's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. I like that I like part where it says beyond singing. Mm, far that beyond. has a whole far beyond like that. That's a mm -hmm. whole chill in itself. Mm. Yes, and it I uh, related to it because it's got that vocal piece that we're putting into everything and releasing. Um, and yeah, far beyond singing, I kind of feel like that's what we're getting into. It's like the different sounds and the different, you know feels of singing the body movements with it far beyond mm -hmm. and then I like for to miss the joy is to miss all I mean that's mm -hmm. a bit that's a lot in there but there's a point to it that mm -hmm. we can get very um clouded of things that are in front of us that eh, probably don't matter much or um, don't need so much focus and attention and all like we've been talking about those magical bits those magical moments which joy is all 
kind of cocooned in there. Um, you don't want to miss those. So. No. Yeah, and I think it's a good practice to to put your attention on, you know, like, well, where is the joy bit in this really difficult moment? So it's really mm-hmm. beautiful. Yeah. Perfect. I love it. Well, it's a nice transition into our bringing joy your way with apples. Yes. <laughs> shall Shall I read the top page, top part of the page, and then we could share a little bit about you know, what, how we feel about apples and just see what comes yes. up. <laughs> yes. And I love the top part, by the way. It put me in such a good mood. Oh, yeah, I love it too. It's definitely a broadened perspective on the apple. Mm. So it says, in ancient times, the apple was considered sacred. It symbolizes good health and future happiness. According to Celtic mythology, Apples bring a sense of wholeness, healing, and connection with nature. And then the instructions are within each apple, write down something that brings you joy, healing, and connection. Hmm. Okay. And I have my, you know what? This apple cider came from Massachusetts. (laughs) (gasps) Oh, my neighbor. We did did get um, local apple cider first, but then... um, the one at our Whole Foods was New England, and I was actually really happy when um, Jim brought it home. I was like, New England, oh, I like that. That feels really nice. Oh, so special. Mm. I love my apple cider. Are you drinking it warm or cold? This one is just like room temperature. Oh. I like it warm. I like it cold. And I put mm-hmm. a little cinnamon stick in there. Ooh, cheers. I wish I had some, too. <laughs> I eat my apple <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. that's nice yeah I just mm. so what um, what does like apple symbolize for you do you have any like family traditions around apples at all um yes uh, many I as a child and still we definitely do the apple picking thing um, which our farms have kind of changed throughout the years um you know, but we found a local farm uh, recently that has the like to call the legit apple trees where you have to, you know, scoop them from way up high. Now there's so many breeds and everything that they're really easy to pick. So I try to find farms where it puts me into that childhood space of needing to, if the farm lets you climb the trees or use the... Um, I it's stick. a special tool. Yeah, the stick and yeah. the claw. You know, it has the bag underneath it. Something about that just is like your work for your that's apple, you know. That's amazing. Um, and, of course, having to have a little nibble while you pick. Um, so we have we have a local farm near us that's just very nostalgic for me. And as a kid, we used to make applesauce in the press, and we'd all get a turn, and someone would be the cranker, someone would take the... The, the stuff that the seeds and everything that came out and another one would scoop all the uh the juice and the sauce that would come out so yeah it that's so cute it has a lot of inner childhood for me that the apple just mm-hmm. that crunch as you bite into a freshly picked one it's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> i love that How i wish you, i was Lord? there <laughs> yeah. you know it's funny i I didn't have a connection to apples, that there was no, like, I didn't like apple pie. I didn't like apples cooked, you know, like when they get all slimy in a pie, Mm. until way later in my life. Like, I did not grow up with, like, a a great love of apples. Um, So I think it's interesting that my first job was at an apple orchard. (laughs) I love that. And I just, like picked something I think because my best friend was there probably (laughs) we wanted to do everything together I learned so much about apples and it was an orchard but I never have been apple picking in my life (gasps) did you know this about me I did not know this I just assumed because I knew where you worked (gasps) secret secret I never went (laughs) how did that happen I don't How know. I How know. did you not know? like come along with my family? This is I don't bizarre. Know. 
I mean, and maybe like there's a mem- maybe there's like some blocked out memory that I just like. <laughs> oh gosh, just don't remember because that does happen where, you know, like no, you went, you went with us. Like I don't know, but there's nothing. I really I feel can't like you remember. would remember because there was quite a hill. <sighs> yeah, I I don't remember. I've never really oh. picked fruit off of um trees you know and I think that's something really lacking that's like why I'm so drawn to all of this herbalism and like growing my own plants and like I cannot wait to grow my own different types of trees and I just can't wait to experience all because it's definitely a missing um but I will say that orchard you know we had an amazing it was very small building and I learned all about all the different kinds of apples and which ones to use for pies and like it was just amazing how much I learned and I had to cut giant tent you know giant uh what do you call it trays giant trays of apple crisp it was like all caramelized and he was just the most amazing baker and I had this huge spatula and I'm like you know how old am I 15 (laughs) I'm like and I couldn't help myself. I started to, like, have to make them perfect. So I would, like, eat a little nibble. And that's when I was, like, oh, my God. I love apple crisp. And so Good. it's just funny that, you know, I just I wasn't awakened to, like, the beauty of pies and, like, cooked, baked fruit until that job. And here I am now, like, I wish I could go apple picking. <laughs> so I definitely want to want to do it with uh, my husband. And I feel like, mm-hmm. you know, as a team, we could do it. And maybe we could get the little tool. You don't I, even I need it anymore. You don't, The trees well, are like, they're like a foot. The apples are a foot off the ground. They're I could just, just like go like that. Re- oh, yeah, yeah. Ready to go. They're all and they're <sighs> slender all next to each other now. It's well, <laughs> very different. I'm up for whatever. I just yeah. want to have the experience of that. So mm-hmm. that is something I wanted to do. I don't know if we'll get to it this year, but um, yeah. it's definitely on my list. So, yeah. <laughs> Fun oh. story time. <laughs> I'm going to have to visit in the fall sometime, and we'll just make it a thing. That yeah, we, we try that. Oh, that's mm-hmm. wonderful. And I, I forgot about the apple crisp. That was a big thing too. Somehow my family got a hold of the Big E recipe here in New England. I don't know how, mm-hmm. but that's what we use, and it's an all-time favorite. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I would really love to make you know like those beautiful apple pies with like the double crust and everything I've never mm. I've never done that before um the lattice work it'll have to be it'll be experimental because I have celiac and can't have gluten so I know that there are some really good gluten-free flowers out there so I might experiment this year around Thanksgiving or something so we'll see mm. but you know this apple crisp recipe, I didn't eat it all. I, like, saved it. For- <gasps> <laughs> Some for me. I oh, saved it. Yes. Oh, my goodness. It actually came out Delicious. so good. And I forgot that I told everybody that I was going to, like, make something with apples. Um, you did it. And I did it last night, like, so needed to do it. And then I remembered afterwards, like, oh, I did it. <laughs> so... So good. Uh, looks yeah. scrumptious. It is so good. Mm. So I'm going to be um, putting a recipe for that in one of our future emails if you want to join her newsletter. So trying to add in a little seasonal eating in there because it's fun. Mm. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, all right. Well, how are we doing? We're, okay, we've got like 10 minutes. We can do this. That's good. That's good. <laughs> good. Yeah. So, away. <laughs> how was this page for you? It was right good. Down. Yeah, I definitely needed it. Um, you know, I think our uh, last pages, this was just a perfect next step in everything that we've been doing from the circle of trust and um, the leaves and letting go. And now, like, yeah, let's that joy, that healing, that connection. Um, And I love the amount of apples, too. Again, it makes you kind of focus on, I have some specific things, but then I have some general um, things. And it kind of reminded me of a visualization of 
like every time I did an apple, I would like close my eyes and visualize that thing occurring or that theme. Um, Mm. And it put me back in that place. It just kind of like how I just did talking about the apples as a child. It put me back in that place and I can already feel lighter than my soggy leaves. (laughs) So it's, yeah, it's very, very healing. Um, And some, some of the apples are just so sweet. Um, Like the different types of apples, like my little ones laugh or my oldest one's creativity. And I have um, some like car rides on there because I just love driving Mm -hmm. in the sun just so I just kind of took each one and felt it and was within it and in them it's like almost my little cheat sheet for joy and happiness I feel like so it's not like hang it up could totally be hung up for this season Mm -hmm. like especially Mm -hmm. if you're feeling a little off or down or barely whatever um just to look at it and take a moment with one or two or maybe do them all like little visualization a little meditation just had an idea you could cut idea. out you could cut out the apples and you could make a little like box for them and then you could like if you're feeling it you're feeling like you need it you just like pick one. Oh, i love that <laughs> just I love one that. idea i bet there's lots yes. of ways you could do that because uh, I used to do that, like, beach visualization, especially in the middle of winter, pretending I was on the beach or kayaking. And it would. It was – my whole face would change. So I felt like this was a little bit like that, but a bit deeper and more examples of it. Mm-hmm. So uh, verdict is I loved it. <laughs> oh, I loved it. I loved yeah. it, too. That's awesome. Yeah. I like that you – that it put you in, like, the inner child space and – you know, that feeling of nostalgia, I guess, is a theme mm-hmm. with Apple, which is interesting since it goes back so far as, like, this sacred thing. There's a lot of story around it. It's been turned evil. It's been made, you know, wonderful. And and it's interesting to look at it. So, um, yeah, I love that. It's exciting. Mm. So... How about you? you? To share anything? Yeah. Well, yeah. I had the first one come up with this cocoon, and I even drew our little <gasps> oh, like logo. <laughs> yes. Because this cocoon brings me a lot of joy, healing, and definitely connection. We've met so many new, like-hearted, like-spirited people here with this account, and I feel like we're doing such great work, like connecting with with mm-hmm. those beautiful souls. And, um, so that was one, it was nice to feel that there was another one that was fun. That was like, you know, when you can like stay in bed just a little bit longer and, um, enjoy whatever's happening outside your window, like whether it's rain or the sun glistening through like your curtain a little bit, or Mm -hmm. my favorite, my all time personal favorite is snow falling. And, like, having the windows open, but, like, being in bed where you're warm. And then mm. somebody else in the house has to be awake making breakfast. So you can, like, smell and hear oh. and feel oh. that happening. And, like, so you know that there's something to, like, get up for. <laughs> but you don't have to yet. Like, there's some. Yeah, so it is very nostalgic, whatever this um I don't know, that feeling of what brings me joy, healing, and connection. For some reason, that got on there. And, um, yeah, every single one of them had something to do with the things that I love that are very much within this cocoon, you know, like animals and plants and creativity and, like, expression. And so, yeah. And then the one about my husband, I'll read. It was poetry, long talks, movies, meals, and cat cuddling. <laughs> like, usually we have one or two, both of our cats with us while we have these long chats. So, yeah, it was really sweet. Mm. I loved it, too. That's beautiful. Yeah. And I love that morning feel of, I can't smell, but definitely feeling, like hearing the dishes clang. And, mm-hmm. like, oh, someone's making breakfast. Like, just that, I've always liked the noise of mm-hmm. plates and 
Yes, yeah, someone's in the both, kitchen. Yes, yes. Um, both my father and now my husband like to unload the dishwasher in the morning, and I just love it because it reminds <laughs> yeah. me, like that's how you're you're waking up. Um, so and I cute. love what you said about yeah, just being in bed and and hearing those simple things. I have. Um, someone who a couple who walks by and they talk to each other as they walk the dog and like every morning like that's what I look I look forward to that little Mm. little chat like you can't really hear what they're saying but you hear their muffled voices and they have very distinct voices so Mm. just the little things you know that's cute yeah I have the privilege of seeing all the people who live in this complex walking their dogs and I like Mm. I mean, they don't know how much I know about them. Right. <laughs> right. If there's ever like, there's that like, one. And there's one. <laughs> like, today it was pouring, so I missed, I missed, I was like, oh, I haven't mm. heard, you know, I don't know their names, but so-and-so's voice. I name so, them. Yeah. <gasps> I do, that. I do know a few of the people's names, but I've definitely, like, yes. gave them names. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I think cute. Gladys is what I would name mine. <laughs> Gladys. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> Gladys. Uh, mm. Yeah. Something That's about cute. that just starts your day, you know. Love it. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Well, this was really fun. Definitely mm. a vibe of joy in here in this cocoon today. I love that. Yes. So, I yeah, I am curious. Um like what apples mean to other people if they grew up with it being, you know, a big part of like a family thing or if they have traditions around it or if they have belief systems around apples that, you know, where it's even broader outside of what we've talked about. I would love to hear about things like that. So yeah, we'd love to hear about how this page goes for you or any fun apple stories or even recipes that you Mm -hmm. have. Yes. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I was just thinking right. about a, a recent apple recipe of putting an apple in tinfoil and putting it on the fire. We might need to. I haven't tried that in a year or so. So that's. Do you put cinnamon and stuff on mm-hmm. it? Yeah. That's do you stick can't... cloves in it? Yeah, you can do that as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then. Yeah, I do oh, remember the tinfoil cooking. Mm-hmm. Tinfoil cooking in Girl Scouts. <laughs> yes, right? Yeah. The, uh, that was fun. I'll never forget that, that. An oven. This was called some kind of oven. Mm. We, we, I'm pretty sure we just threw them on the fire. <laughs> Whatever. That works. That works. I too. don't know. <laughs> oh, memories. Memories. Oh, yeah. We're very nostalgic. I love it. Mm. So sweet. All right. Well, with love. <laughs> With love and transformation. From our cocoon to yours. Bye. Bye. We'll see you soon.